Welcome back everyone! Welcome back to Let's Play Train Mechanic Simulator 2017 where uh, we've just towed another train back which has also derailed. There's a serious problem with derailment in this country apparently. So anyway, the probable cause of the damage is the malfunction of one of the exhaust system components of the locomotive's engine. Throttle valves are suspected. Find the cause of the damage. That caused it to derail? Okay. Uh, throttle valves are suspected. Okay. Interesting. So it's the engine again. Oh, well, yeah. The valve covers all kinds of bad. So it was talking about the... Th Ooh. What, what, what's going on with the fuel tank? That doesn't look good. But no, it's fine. Okay. I take that back. Right, anyway. Um, let's see. Let me see if I can spot it just by, I mean, obviously the uh, throttle mechanism here is not as it should be. Wait, why can't I test it? Oh, because I have to get to it first, I guess. No, why is it doing that to the camera? What's going on? I'm in disassembly mode. Why isn't it... What? Why is it not allowing me to do anything? Hello? Okay, I'll try that again. That was odd. There we go. Now it's allowing me to do. It was, well, I was talking about no bugs before, but no, it's it's fine. This uh, this game is very stable. All right, valve tappet. There's the hydraulic throttle mechanism. That's nice. No uh, no screws needed here. I think there's more though. No, that was it. The valve cover and the four hydraulic. Uh, mechanisms. Right, so... Wrong workbench. Oh, so it is mechanical then. There we go. 100% on everything. Brilliant. I like it. There's a valve cover. I wonder if it's always worth repairing if you have a 100% chance. I'm guessing it is. I mean, why wouldn't it? Actually, I don't want to repair that. That's in very good condition. Hydraulic throttle mechanism. Yeah, I didn't know that the... Um, well, actually, it makes sense, of course. I mean, you know, that uh, trains have a hydraulic throttle mechanism. Pneumatic throttle mechanism would not be uh, accurate enough, I'm guessing, because it's, you know, it's very jittery. It's blah, blah, like that. Um, and hydraulic is very smooth and has a lot of power, even though over here you probably don't need torque. Right, um, okay, well, that's it. We just have to put it back together. I like these jobs. They're very sort of, they're short and sweet, but I'm sure that the game is just setting us up for something a lot more uh, complex later on. It's just easing us in into, uh, you know, into the more difficult jobs right now, so I'm completely fine with that. Right, there we go. There, and of course the cover. Look at that shiny new cover. Huh. That was it. Finish. And we get a nice little boost to our uh, income. Remember to use your earned cash to improve the workshop by using the tablet. We should probably do that now. Right, so let's see. Screw gun, mechanics, workshop, hydraulic, electrical. Oh, so that's it. I can't do anything else. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I don't really want the faster loosening and tightening. I mean, it's nice, but I don't want to spend money on that right now. I want to spend money on improving my workshops. Hydraulic and... well, I'll do mechanical as well. Everything is quite expensive, so... <clears throat> the higher the chance we have to repair them, the better. During the test ride, the driver complained that the engine runs too loudly. Look and repair the defect. It's actually a thing. I haven't seen anything that we can do with the uh, exhausts here. It's only one thing. I'm guessing the exhaust, but I haven't seen anywhere we can fiddle with the exhaust. Uh, wait. There. So something's wrong. Where? There's no exhaust to repair here. Oh, there we go. The flywheel doesn't seem too good. Yeah. Oof. 
I wonder what kind of a racket this would... And this was a test run? Well, probably not of a new engine. Oh, snap. Oh, wait. Perforated plate. Never mind. I thought we would have to take the entire thing apart. There we go. So, now with our improved... Ooh. Improved mechanic stables, which are on the other side. Let's see what kind of a chance we have to repair this. 100%! Check it out! I like it. Alright, thank you for that. Let's put it back on. Assembly mode. Wait, what? I have to put the perforated plate in first? That's a bit of a bug. Phew. It's fortunate uh, it even allowed us to put the flywheel on. <laughs> There we go, that was it. That was a really easy repair and loads of income for the for the bonus and everything. Wow. I'm happy. Yeah, these jobs are really sweet and quick. I like it. Alright, let's see the next job. The train has a brake system failure. Locate the damaged elements and make repairs. Alright. So underneath the carriage we go once again yeah look at that that's all rusty the hydraulic brake pistons oh yeah the hydraulic brake hose will also need to be uh repaired and hopefully i can repair it these things especially the pistons i think are quite quite very expensive so uh hopefully we do manage to repair that okay that's all there's also a nice feature in the options which is called 3d music which I'm assuming means that the music comes from the radio, if you have it on, which is in the, uh, in there. Or it just, you know, it just plays as a background soundtrack if you have it to off. Which is a really nice feature, I feel. Why am I walking around? I could just rotate the camera. Was that all of them? Yes, that was all of them, and it's all hydraulic, so, uh, hopefully we can repair this. 100, oh. Hydraulic brake piston connector. Oh yeah, that's the wrong workbench. But we've got 100% to uh, repair everything. It's actually quite uh, interesting. And slightly disappointing in a way. I don't mind, you know, having 100% chance because I'm absolutely horrible at chance games. Uh, but at the same time, it's a little disappointing that we get 100% on everything. It would be nice to have like, I don't know, 72%, you know, and just see, oh, I'll probably do it, but I'm not sure. But I'm fine. This game is actually... This game has gone above and over all of my expectations, if I'm completely honest. Because when I first saw this game being announced, I thought to myself, Oh man, that's cool. I would love to work on trains, right? But at the same time, I, I saw that they were also going for this... Oh, you have to drive out and... You know, lift cranes up, uh, cranes, <laughs> lift trains up with your crane and stuff like that. And I thought to myself, hmm, aren't they overextending? Why not just do a, pro a, a, you know, a good mechanic simulator and just leave the rest of the stuff for, you know, maybe for an expansion or something. But I have to say, my worries were uh, unfounded because this is very, very polished and fun. I cannot believe that such a small team has done such a good job. So, good job, team! There we go. Remember to use your earned cash. Should have said hard-earned cash. See, now I'm fine. I should go and become a mechanic of trains in real life because I know everything about them. The train has a problem with the fuel tank. Ooh, it is leaking and fuel is leaking from it. Make the necessary parts. <laughs> you know... As I said, the, the the game is polished. The English could do with a little bit of proofreading and stuff because <laughs> it's funny when it says uh, the fuel tank is leaking. It is leaky and it's leaking fuel. <laughs> it's like this sandwich is yummy and it's very good. <laughs> I don't mind it. Oh, that was an easy repair. I mean, for us, but of course, in real life, that would probably be quite a major repair doing, uh, I mean, taking all of that off. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, that was in very poor condition. Let's see how shiny and new it is now. Uh, installation mode, please. Look at that. And the compressed air. See, it does have compressed air. That's probably for the start of the engine, though. 
because I do believe that uh, most of these diesel engines are started with compressed air. There we go. Another bonus. Man, we are just breezing through these trains, aren't we? I know there's uh, nine different train types, I believe, in the game. So we've pretty much only been working on two types of the diesel engine, uh, diesel electric here, I believe. Right. On one of the suburban stations, the locomotive is stuck and is not able to effectively accelerate. It has been towed to the workshop and requires repair. It looks like some serious engine failure. Ooh. That's interesting. Might... Oh, yeah. Look at that. That will imply a much bigger uh, job. Alright, so let's disassemble this. So I'm assuming the problem... Oh, yeah, the crankshaft. Look at that. I mean, not the crankshaft, the camshaft. Yeah, that's that's in very bad condition. This one is okay. Uh, it's also this engine. Wait a second. Look at this. I'm in... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I see. See, I thought to myself, if I go into testing mode, I won't be able to see exactly which part I wanted to test. But now I see that when you're in testing mode, not everything is white. The bad parts are already rusty at a glance. Oh, look at it. Look. That's so much easier to find um, parts that are wrong with it then. Okay, so I'm assuming... Well, Oh yeah, this thing is also bad. Let's see. These things are fine. What about the other side? Well, the other side seems fine. Anything down here? Nope. The pistons are good. Man, <laughs> look at these pistons. Oh, yeah, the, wait. Combustion chamber? Oh, yeah, th this is just the combustion chamber, and there's the pistons going up. Pistons are pretty big, though. <clears throat> I still... <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I still haven't found four things that are wrong with this thing. All these things are fine. Yeah. Um... Well, what about below these covers? kind of doubt there's anything wrong here because the game seems to give us hints with the uh, with a bad cam cover yeah these are fine right so let's see the camshafts I mean uh, hmm this this one seems to have wait a second what if I take off what if it's the piston itself I don't think I can really test it from here yes I can and it's fine okay Fair enough. The flywheel seems to be fine. Well, I'm guessing the uh, best thing to do is just start taking this apart. Oh man, actually we'll have to take the entire thing apart. Because we need to get to the camshaft. Fair enough. Alright, that comes off. And also this comes off. The engine valve spring. Oh, look at it. The engine valve. This one is bad. Yep. That comes off. And also this one, I believe. Yep. And that one as well. So it was this one piston that had some sort of a... Well, sort of failure. Uh, right, this also needs to come off. Yeah, see? Here we go. We, we are getting to a bit more of a... You know, complex repair here. Look at these cover handles! They're huge. These engines must work, you know, for such long times at such high operate. Oh, spark plug for such uh, at such high pressure and such. Wow, that didn't make any sense that I said. Uh, mounting of valve tappets, interesting. But these are fine. All right, so let's take the uh, rest of the valve tappets. I thought they were like rocker arms. Um, let's take them off, and then we'll be able to take the camshaft off. I kind of, I'm kind of missing the uh, turbo as well, though. I think these, uh, all of these diesel electrics are turbocharged, of course. Might be wrong, of course. As I said, I don't really know that much about trains, but, I mean, it's only logical that they would be turbocharged. Right, look at that. 
I think we found everything. Yes, we have. Alright, let's uh, go and try and repair this. So we've got mechanical stuff. 100% on the valve cover. I wish this was a little faster. Success! Yes, I know it's a, it's a success. Blah, 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 success. It's 100%. Come on. And this is all 90. Engine valve spring. How do you refurbish a spring like that? Nice. 6% for that engine valve. It's very expensive as well. Wait, you know what? 2000. Let me just see something. Valve. Yeah, they're 3000 originally. Okay. So, of course, it is useful to just repair this stuff. Uh, another engine valve. Oh, man. My throat feels weird. Almost, you know, oh, 66%. Feels like uh, I'm getting a cold, I think. It's not very nice. Ah, no! It was such an expensive part as well. Alright, there's a camshaft. Only 640, really? For the camshaft? Okay, so we need another combustion chamber cover, unfortunately. So, cover, please. Oh, there we go. Now, now it searches if I press enter. There we go. Yes, please. Yeah, it feels like I'm, I'm getting a cold or something. It doesn't feel very nice. Ugh. <clears throat> ah. Need a drink. Mineral water. Alright, let's put the combustion chamber back in place. Actually, I can also sell the combustion chamber. That's bad. Oh, there's a... Sp oh. Let's sell this. I also need to... Can I repair the spark plug? I seriously doubt that. Yes, I can. 66. <laughs> that's, a, that's an expensive spark plug. Oh, you bastard. All right. Spark plug. There it is. 1,000 for a spark plug. Well, that's quite a bit. Let's also sell off the new one. I'm guessing the... Uh, the game actually... <laughs> eight bucks. I'm guessing the game actually sells off the uh, X's on its own. Which is actually quite nice. Right. Assembly mode, please. Spark plug. There it is. Shiny new one. Uh, engine valve. There we go. That's interesting. It's got three on both sides. There. Alright, now we need the springs and lots of them. They all seem to... Yeah, they're all the same. There we go. This engine will run like new again. I gotta put the fuel hoses on as well. And of course the, uh, the tappets. It's probably gonna be... Wait a second. Oh yeah, that's fine. It kind of looked rusty. Alright, the hydraulic throttle mechanism, so they'll be able to go vroom, vroom. That's a lot of tappets we have in store now, because uh, we need to put it on all of them. Oh yeah, of course, the combustion chamber. Wait, cover handles. This is fun. I like it. I also like these um, mechanic simulators because they're, you know, sort of very relaxing. There's no time limits. There's no, you know, oh my god, there's an explosion. Run! It's just relaxing and nice. And because this game is so polished and cool, uh, it's really, really nice to play. I do recommend it if you like... Uh, Mechanic simulators like this. If you like the car mechanic simulator, you're going to enjoy this one. No, <clears throat> you know we've we've barely scratched the surface right now, so I don't know what stuff it'll have as well. There's obviously going to be no auction and stuff like that, I'm assuming. But um, there are going to be steam engines and such, which is quite a big deal. And considering how much praise I'm giving this game, you'd think that I was being paid to <laughs> to advertise this. 
Oh man. I know that some people on YouTube get paid a lot to advertise, which is crazy. Right, and that's that. Look at that. 3,000. And we still get a bonus for low cost. Look at that. 1,500. It's pretty much double the money we're getting. Awesome. Hmm. Uh-oh, what's going on? Oh, wait a second, we're going... Oh, bloody hell! Oh, this is the electric trains. Look at that. We've got bloody robots. It certainly looks sort of very high-tech. Oh, almost sounds like we're in Japan. Would make sense with all the robots. Wow, look at the office. Alrighty, why is there a crowbar here? <laughs> all right. Welcome to Electric Locomotive Roundhouse. Here you will be dealing with much more complex machines. To start with, we have received notification about lo locomotive, which engine <laughs> fell into strange vibrations. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> strange vibrations. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Check out my Patreon. The link is on the video. And uh, I hope you're enjoying. We'll do electric stuff next time. Bye-bye.